The possibility that dreams from long ago may still come true, even if they, even if, even if, even if they look lost forever. What's good, y'all? Hey, Zo, back with another video. Hope y'all doing well out there. So in this video, I'm going to be reacting to Kalani explaining why she no longer smokes weed. Apparently, she was a big weed smoker. I seen a video pop up on my recommended about her teaching people how to roll, how to smoke, all this stuff. So she was a big weed smoker, you know what I'm saying? You got people that smoke weed here and there. Then you got people that smoke weed on the daily. And then you got people that teach other people how to roll and smoke. That's a whole nother level, you know what I'm saying? So obviously she was in it deep and I like to watch videos like this so people out there that come across this video can know, you know, it is possible for you to quit. If you a heavy smoker, you deep into weed, you know what I'm saying, weed got you in its clutches, you feel like you can't get out that lifestyle, it is a way out. Here's a success story for you. I got mine. Check out my quitting weed playlist if you need help quitting weed. And yeah, we're going to keep it going. I'm interested in seeing what she's going to say because... If y'all seen that A Boogie reaction video I did, he talked about how his uh, teacher, who was teaching him how to sing better, was telling him he had to quit smoking weed to make his vocals better. He wasn't with it. He realized later that it really does help him sing or make music better when he wasn't smoking. So, yeah, Mighty Cyrus said the same thing. Check out both of them reaction videos. They'll be up here somewhere, one of these sides. Let's get into it and see what she's talking about, all right? Oh, yeah, join my Patreon, too. I'm doing videos and live streams over there, so join my Patreon for exclusive content, all right? Out of it. Something that's a block in your chakra. Whoa, is it? I want to hear more. Man, I can't smoke weed anymore. I just can't. I cannot. I... It makes me a weirdo. I wish. Lion's mane mushroom. Plant daddy, please DM me. I am trying. I'm, Let's get to I'm the point. Right now. You, know, you know I don't even smoke. But I, it's funny because I probably come off so high. Everyone's always like, are you high? Are you high? Like, Or I'll post a video, I'll post a picture, and like, I just know you was high. In this, and I'm like, I wish. People be telling me that too. Like my eyes be like low. They be telling me like, you high, bro? No, I don't smoke no more. But people be still be thinking I'm high. Like it be the way I look sometimes, or I be tired, or I don't know. I think like it's like a long term effect. Ever since I started smoking weed on the daily, walking around with my eyes low, it's like my eyes be naturally low. Some of y'all be commenting on my videos like, bro, you high right now? Bro, I ain't smoked since 2019, bro. You know what I'm saying? But I still be looking high sometimes, apparently. She's saying that be happening to her. Because I used to smoke so much weed, and I probably was a way more calm person when I smoked. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty calm now, but just, I don't know. See? Can't stay on track for anything. CBD gang. Big CBD gang. Yes. Lion's Man in Ashwagandha. I'm just gonna screenshot that. The weed helps you think slower. The weed helps me not, I mean, it doesn't help me, it just makes me not think at all. I just be sitting there like. And I know some people are like so productive when they smoke, they're super productive stoners, but, and I really am happy for anybody that's a productive stoner, because it's just not, like, I wish it was, I just sit there, like, I sit there. Me too, I told y'all, we was like a beanbag chair for me, as long as I was high, I would stay in that same position, and not care about nothing that was going on around the world, not caring about getting things done, being productive, like she said, some people can be productive stoners, to each his own. I wasn't one, and I found out I found that out over seven years, and I realized I'm more productive without weed. So let me know your experience. Are you more productive under the influence of Mary J. or without it, bro? Either way, just understand, the world goes on, bro. The world goes on whether you high or not. When you sit around stoned all day, the world is still going on. 
You know what I'm saying? Keep that in mind. There's things you could be getting done to get you closer to your best life. So just keep that in mind, y'all. Can I eat? Over and over again. And then go to sleep. What she just say? Just because it's just not like I wish it was. I just sit there, like I sit there and I eat. I sit there and I over eat over and over again. Facts. And then go to sleep. Facts. Check out my video why I stopped smoking weed. All I did was eat, sleep, repeat, eat, sleep, repeat, eat, sleep, repeat. No, yeah, and I wasn't a drag to productive stoners because again, I fucking admire y'all and I wish I was y'all. But yeah, shout out to her though because obviously she already in a position where she got money, she got fame, she on the road to living her best life, her music doing well, all that stuff. So to have everything in order and still be mindful enough to realize we could be holding me back and actually take that step, that's big. You know what I'm saying? A lot of us quit weed so we can get places or become successful. She already successful and put it to the side. So I think that's different. When you already got things in order and you still put it to the side, you mindful enough to know I'm better off without it and still and do that, that's a big W for her, man. What do I do? Wine is my thing. Wine is my thing. I can't smoke weed. I can't, um, I can't do anything. I'm too weird. It makes me like, I would drink my wine and call it a damn day. All right, that's all she's talking about in that video. Let's see what the next video she's talking about. How smoking weed could have ended her career. I used to smoke a lot of weed, and now when I speak on it from like a past tense like in a past tense perspective i think people think that i am shitting on weed and i'm not i love weed let me just say something i'll be feeling that way too i'll be hanging around like certain people that smoke weed all the time bro and they know what i do obviously i'll be helping people quit smoking weed i got the check-in streams all this stuff and they be like bringing up weed around me and they look at me for my reaction like i'm supposed to like jump on them like hey you shouldn't be smoking weed like bro i do not care y'all know me i do not care you can live your life however you want to live it. If smoking weed is making you happy, you feel like you're living your best life while smoking weed, do you. Do you. I ain't here to judge you. Do you. I know when I was smoking weed, I ain't want nobody to judge me. So, you know what I'm saying? Do you, bruh. Now, any of y'all that come across my check-in streams and y'all relapse, don't be afraid to just come back and just chop it up with us, chill with us, bruh. We ain't here to judge you. We just here to help out the people that are looking for answers how to quit smoking weed. Everybody else can do their thing, live their best life. You know what I'm saying? So I see what she's talking about. When I had it, when I was involved with it. Beautiful plant, very nice properties when used correctly. I don't think that I was using it correctly. I think I was overusing it. I wasn't the most productive pothead. It really, really messed with my vocal cords. Um, what I said earlier, that A Boogie reaction video, go check it out. He was talking about how his uh, singing teacher was telling him it was messing with his voice. If he wanted to sing better, then he needed to quit weed. He wasn't with it, but later he realized it really does help when he doesn't smoke. So she already be singing the majority of her songs. So that's good that she actually quit to make her music better. Like I said, it's always a W in my book. If you quit to thrive in your career or start a business or get something done that you know can change your life for the better, that's a good reason to quit, bro. So. Especially if you're trying to sing and be like one of the best artists, bro. You need your voice more than anything. So if we is messing up your voice and putting out great music, I don't see why you wouldn't quit, bro. And it really took a lot of energy from my day. I stopped to regulate my body, myself. I mean, I had got to the point where I couldn't eat, I couldn't sleep, I couldn't be at a social gathering, I couldn't kick it without smoking weed, and I just didn't want it to have that hold on my life anymore. And also... 
that dependency like i told y'all bro that dependency creep up slowly check out the video things i wish i knew before i started smoking weed that dependency creeps up slowly you don't see it in the first few months you don't see it in the first year but slowly you need weed before you eat breakfast you need weed as soon as you get off work you need weed before you go to the movies before you go to the mall before you go see your mother you need weed before you do everything that dependency that dependency slowly creeps up if you ain't mindful you're gonna look up one day and you're gonna be smoking weed all day every day you know what i'm saying so be mindful of that y'all let me know in the comment section how it was for you did your dependency on weed creep up slowly or did it happen like that let me know your experience down below all right throat was tired of me my lungs were tired of me my you know all of that stuff so but yeah not judging the weed smokers get it get it girl all right so that's everything she had to say bro i agree with pretty much everything she said productivity the lungs the vocals everything bro so yeah let me know your thoughts on this video down below make sure you like this video make sure you share this video subscribe if you're new Join my Patreon for more exclusive videos and live streams. Follow me on IG. I'm active over there posting a lot of videos and short clips. So follow my IG. I'm going to holler at y'all in the next video, man. Peace out.